Hey guys, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to Prussia and EU4. We are in a slugfest of a coalition war. We are steamrolling through them. They have literally no chance. Look at this. Look at all their war exhaustion. Everybody's just war exhausted. Me? Untouched, baby. Untouched. Still got plenty of manpower in the pool. Not worried about it at all. So right now all we're doing is we're just sieging these guys down and... Uh, Killing off all their men. So let's take a look at who's lost as many men. Spain has lost 152,000. Ulm has lost 36,000. Switzerland, 45. France, 77. Pope Man, 31. Portugal, 33. It's crazy. Lithuania. Tuscany's lost 101,000 as well. That's crazy to me, man. That's actually crazy to me. But uh, yeah, so now we're just um, sitting around doing this. So it looks like they won that siege, which is kind of annoying. They must have just won it, like, right as I was getting there. Oh, look at the siege ability, though. 14 day siege ticks. I will live with it. So, let's have these guys head up here. Get these guys off my sieges. Get that one to Bavaria. I meant to give it to Mazovia. And sometimes they'll give it back to you. So you just have to pass it back. But take a look at this. Well, they were going to try to siege it down, but they decided against it, apparently. I'm forced marching. I probably shouldn't be. Okay, we won that siege up here. Let's get these guys down here. But yeah, take, through all this, we still have prosperity in most of our country, which is great. Let's get rid of the uh, devastation there. And uh, get these guys out of there. Give this one also to Mazovia. Look at that. 90% defensiveness. It's disgusting. Actually disgusting. These guys are down here. CG down Munich. Very annoying. Those guys are not now off Dresden, so I can dev that. Keep that prosperity. Eh, yeah. They, they tanked it pretty bad. Let's get you guys out of there. Oftentimes, just walking in that general direction is enough. I'm also going to need Stuttgart in this war. So I'm going to have to occupy that. So let's do that here. Siege him down. Siege him down. Uh, let's dev that province. And uh, put defensiveness over there as well. That will protect these forts. Now, look at this. Oh, 41 day siege ticks on a grasslands fort. Like, oh, it's woods fort, but oh, it is farmlands actually. It's so good. I love it. The only downside is, is you lose the, the vision, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Look at this. That's a 20 stack of artillery that is now gone. Kaput. It's kaput. Come in here. Burgundy will back me up. And uh, there you go. Now we just got to keep on rounding them up. I'll give local concessions. I don't care. Yeah, just wipe as many of them out as possible. There you go. They're locked in. No general. No problem. Netherlands declares independence. Ah, oh, so dumb. And Muscovy joined the Dutch War for Independence. Look at that, man. How's that looking? All right. This is uh, <laughs> problematic. It's okay. Let's get over here. Keep our reinforcement coming. Very good. Keep on steamrolling these guys. Easy enough. Very good. Continue steamrolling these guys, as I said. They won't be able to reinforce. All right. So. <sighs> I think I just come over here and just separate piece out Muscovy. Because after their last war, I have a feeling they're not going to be super, like, stable. How is his vassal situation? So, Great Horde is still feeling pretty good. There's the Nogai Ural. Interesting. 
We're still focused on mill, which is good. A Dutch revolt, huh? At least I keep my cores, so I can take all that. For 44 AE, I can annex my own vassal. Classic. Or maybe, just maybe, I can't vassalize them. Oh, it's so stupid, man. So stupid. Anyways, yep, that's fine. That's what I'll do. I have to recore a couple of provinces. I didn't know that I needed to full state them, so that's on me. Head over here, get you guys out of there. My heavy ship's over here taking attrition. Naples just joined my coalition. Oh, no, anyways. <laughs> Oh, you guys are such punks. Such punks. But yeah, we'll just beeline it for Moscow. Peace them out. It's no big deal. They can't even siege any of my land down because they need at least, uh, what is it? What's level four? 16 men. They only have 10. So, or they have 20 somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Let's uh, have you guys head down here. They're low morale. They're going to get a reinforcement tick, but it's fine. Same thing over here. Oh, my general died. I didn't I didn't catch that until just now. Let's get you over there. Let's uh, continue catching out their little stacks. We've sieged down Stuttgart. Let's come over here, take this one back. And let's take these guys back for ourselves. This war is going to be... Oh, man. We might not be able to get it soon. Okay, maybe we just take Ansbach instead. Because we'll get the permanent claims. We'll be able to take that stuff later. We've won the Siege of Smolensk. Very good. Well, let's catch this Muscovite stack. Yeah, six fire pipes is pretty good. Oh, of course. The zone of control is jacking me up. 69 war score. Nice. What? What are you talking about? It just went from they would accept it to not even close. It's pretty annoying. That's actually very annoying, but it's okay. Yep, this is the piece y'all take. This will allow me to form Germany, and then I'll be able to annex these guys later on. Let's continue wiping out as many of them as possible. What's the siege pips in Paris? 61? 50 day siege takes in Paris. Not bad. Very good. Come over here. They just have so many men, bro. So many men. This is so annoying. More trade efficiency, please. Like, look at this. They've lost almost a million men and they're still just piling them in. Austria joined my coalition as well. Did the Great Britain? They did. Actually, just nutty. Let's get these guys up here. Siege down Moscow. Eventually. Maybe, if we're lucky. Let's see, we're losing a bunch of money now. It's fine. Let's wipe out as many as we can, as many as we can. Always take your 10 to 1s as well. The small stacks are just as useful to wipe out as the big stacks. Very good. Oh, they're dogpiling pretty hard, though. Am I going to win? No, I'm not going to win. Oh, I fled one province over. Seems appropriate. Let's get a morale tick. Our privateers are yoinking some uh, money from their trade fleets, which is good for me. Let's continue to wipe out the small stacks. And it's just like, how is this even a thing? How are you guys still holding on? There they go. They're on low enthusiasm now. Wow, really? 
I didn't full annex him, it would be much easier. That's unfortunate, man. Yeah, because like I can full annex somebody else in this war and he doesn't care. I suppose this is fine instead, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Nice long truce with everybody else in the war. I will yoink and core. Yoink and core. And there we go. That clears that up. Uh, we now have all the provinces, aside from obviously annexing him. And even better yet, so we're at 63%. Let's do a test here. We're at 63%. Yeah, oh yeah, very good. We can yoink his dev. And that will allow me to, to annex him even quicker as long as we keep him loyal. Which I can do. So there we go, we just... Oh wow, that's crazy. And what did that just put our dev in our capital? Oh, it's so crazy. That's nuts. Okay, we got another mission up here. The Unsbox Succession, which gives me permanent claims. This one will give me mill mana. Very good. <laughs> Because we get a new mission tree when we form Germany, so obviously we want to get as far down this tree as we possibly can. Since I'm ahead on mill, I will farm a bit of uh, this. Only 32 mana. That is crazy. So what we need to do is we just get rid of all the bad ones. Well, to be honest with you, we need to get rid of like all of them. So let's see. Get rid of you. You. Uh, you. 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 We want that five siege. That's good. Get rid of you. There we go. And we'll just keep doing that. Once we get a 500 or the 100, that'll be really good for us. The reinforcement cost is good. Army drill gain is fine. Regiment drill loss is fine as well. But the, the reinforcement cost is really good. Basically, it means our army can get, like, the tar kicked out of them in a war, and they're fine. German Confederation will be able to get that. Five admin efficiency for the rest of the game. So we'll be able to get that before we firm Germany. That's good. We've won the Siege of Moskva. I doubt they're going to be interested in piecing out anytime soon. Let's come and wipe out his vassal here. Nice, the sword is stronger than the book. Good event, I like that one. Very good. <laughs> These guys are going to get full occupied. Very quickly. Sheesh. There we go, get these guys occupied ASAP. Peronto. And then uh, hopefully we can get over there. Get them off my fort there. I will continue to uh, give them to Mazovia. I don't care. Mazovia as well. Get you guys over here. Get the Ruskies off my forts. Yeah, Muscovy is giving them quite a bit of, um... So does that mean I don't have the Dutch Revolt anymore? Nice. Fine by me. They're probably gonna win that, but that's okay. I'll be able to head over here and stack wipe their army. Lock in there. There you go. I have five maneuvers, so easy game. Get up here. Take that back. And now we can probably peace out Muscovy, yeah? Really? His war exhaustion has to be going up quite a bit, yeah? Two point... What is this? 1.1. 1. 1. Okay. I suppose I don't really care about that fort. I'll uh, let my vassals occupy it back. It's not a big deal to me. We are taking no attrition here, which is good. We can get my army... Over here, let's get our navy grouped up here. Have them blockade over here. Obviously, we need to be blockading. That is a juicy Dutch navy. Led by, uh... Pieter Spiegel. Very good. 
Very good, very good. Yes. They are uh, sieging down Smolensk again. Let's get over there. So hopefully they don't take it quickly. 21%. No, don't do it. Ah, I even gave it to my defensive vassal. That's fine. Let's get up here, catch these guys. Or as many as we can. Hey, how about it? And now we just uh, give these back to Mazovia. No big deal. Oh no, he's sieging down my vassal. I didn't build a fort on his capital either. That's unfortunate though. But still. 46 day siege ticks on a... It's farmlands as well, yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Let's just get these guys occupied as much as possible. <laughs> if I wanted to really ruin him... I would let his war exhaustion stack up really high and then like white piece him because you don't uh, lose any war exhaustion if you uh, get white pieced. But it probably wouldn't be worth it because in order to get him up to 20 war exhaustion, we'd have to like full occupy him for a while, which would be irritating to say the least. It is funny that they have a Hohenzollern as well. Oh no, they're back, back to a Von Habsburg. Really? Interesting. Okay. That's not something you see every day. Huh. These guys have a Rurikovich. All right, Moscow. Time to peace out. They actually want a white piece. They're like, they're only going to accept a white piece. So maybe I do need to occupy some of his land. These big old provinces out here. Let's get a general on here and uh, come and see. Let's just siege down a couple of his forts. It's no big deal. He's not doing anything. Like, what is he doing over here? Do you think I care? 49 day siege ticks. Just speed five this one. Come over here and siege down rise on. Give it to Mazovia. Carpet siege down over here. He's got good defensiveness, though. The more provinces we have occupied, the better. We will now integrate his land, which is nice because if you don't know, once you uh, annex a vassal, you can actually yoink dev again. So all this dev over here is now in the capital. We're up almost to 300. Um... And uh, let's make sure we're maxing out this. Because I don't think I'll be able to state any of this, sadly. We'll build these guys over here, though. Let's uh, exploit some development. More money in our pockets. Very good. Come over here. So they are now gaining a bit of war exhaustion, like 0.2 a month. Not bad. We're winning sieges. Very good. So what I'm doing is I take the fort and then I occupy everything that's within its zone of control. And then it's like they'll come over here and try to siege this down, but they will not make any progress because, you know, they have no siege ability on me. So then what we do is we come over here, get our army grouped up, charge, cav combat ability. I have no cav, so I don't care. There you go. Come on in. Look at that. Instant stack white, basically. You can't beat it. No need to force march. Sweden has joined my coalition. Oh no, I don't care. Muscovy will get kicked out of the coalition as soon as we piece it out of this war. You know, I am actually kind of tempted to, like, just dismantle them. Let's siege down as many of his forts as possible. Saratov has been sieged down. 
Mercantilism. Sure. I like mercantilism. And Mazovia. Carpet Siege. Admin Tech. Sounds good. And I'm not worried about them. Novgorod will not attack me because they are disloyal, which is hilarious. Azovia. On the Siege of Riga. Very good. Azovia. Continue converting everything, of course. The North German Confederation on its way. Get you guys over here. Get them off that fort. That is my fort. You cannot have it. Oh my gosh. I love these siege ticks. 52 days. That's so good, man. It's so good. Another useful thing is that uh, whenever you transfer these occupations, it actually, like, it gives you an idea of where the forts are at a quick glance. You know? Muscovy is now gaining 0.3 war exhaustion a month, which is really good. I think we're going to max them out up to 20. And then, um... I have rebels looking to pump. I don't think so. The higher my war exhaust or my uh, absolutism goes, yeah, I was going to say, I might actually be able to full annex these guys, which would be really good for us. Because as your absolutism rises, your um, stuff right there will go up. So. Really? Oh, my vassals do count. So I need nine more provinces, huh? North and South Germany. Oh, we'll be able to take that from uh, Austria. So I'm going to have to attack Austria, which is in my coalition. Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's allied to... Well, that's easy enough. They, like, don't even have hardly any more men than me. That's good. So we'll be able to attack them, take Bohemia over. Hello and goodbye. Rostov is grassland, so I'll gladly fight you over here. Oh, they got scared. They heard the footsteps coming. The plebs demand pizza. Let's at least kill off his armies. We've taken out two loans total. Uh, they're going to reinforce them, aren't they? Uh, that's annoying. Let's um, occupy a couple more provinces. I just want his war exhaustion to go up a nice little bit so I can white piece him. France, Sweden, Sardinia has a disputed succession. Interesting. Very good. There we go. I don't care about the war exhaustion a whole lot because it's it's going to be going. It's hardly it's probably not actually going up quite yet. Yeah. Because of all of our modifiers. Oh, they're buying it down. So let's take a look here. He has zero unrest in most of his provinces, sadly. Well, okay. If that's the case, I might as well just humiliate him. Get our PP as big as possible. Take war reps. And then take as much money as he's willing to give me. The war reps are going to be useful. Use that money to pay off a loan. Turn my army maintenance down just a bit. And then I will full annex you. Screw you. You suck. Core it all up. Got some rebels popping. So I lied. I'm not actually going to turn off army maintenance. There we go. Don't have the admin mana. Understandable. I will give all these provinces over here to Burgundy. So these guys are all marches 
So let's take a look at how their economies are looking. Mazovia is probably actually hurting a bit because I've been giving them all this, all those forts. Barely. That's fine. Uh, Burgundy is doing good. Burgundy is making good money. Is it, Am I subsidizing him? No, we're not even subsidizing them. Mazovia, I should probably subsidize. And Nitra, I should probably subsidize. Nitra's got the gold, though. So that's good. Um, I will subsidize them. I am not running a deficit. Take the prestige, sure. Okay, maybe I am running a deficit. Unfortunate. Probably forts is the big one. Look at this. Where's our forts at? Fort maintenance. <laughs> yeah, you'll have that and army maintenance for that matter. I want to keep my forts turned on if at all possible. So let's um, subsidize these guys a bit. Due to space, period. There you go. No, not a hundred. Give them like four ducats a month forever. Same thing over here. Give these guys like, you know, four ducats a month forever. That'll just help them build up an army, right? That's the big one. Okay, I lied. We're turning off my forts. I suppose we can go indebted to the burgers. Use that to pay off our 4% loan. Our interest is super low, so it's fine. I bet our interest is like, yeah, four ducats a month. Who cares? Who cares? That'll allow me to turn my army maintenance back up. Because we're going to need to actually attack these guys very soon. Who else would be in the coalition? Nobody interesting. Okay. Let's actually get our units over here grouped up, obviously. So we got our 70 stack. Let's have them over here. And where's my other 60 stack? Over here. Very good. So these forts are turned off. Yeah, they are. Nice. Oh, they have a bunch of their forts turned off. Well, holy crap. Oh, 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 oh. Don't be on his border on the monthly tech. No, he'll turn the fort on. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Did it not say that it was mothballed? Yo, what? That garrison growth is nuts. Anyways, let's declare war. Uh, it will be for a gear. Get a dude over here. And let's have him force march down and see if we can yoink these forts as quickly as possible. This one somehow, I, I swear he had it mothballed, but apparently he didn't. Can we get there before the monthly tick? We will, nice. So what we can do here? These guys are heading up the Shire Mark with their zero morale, easy fight. Oh my gosh. Nah, uh uh, uh, -uh. okay. That is kind of crazy. We won that fort instantly. Okay. Good siege ability, I suppose. We can now take techs ahead of time. Uh, I would like to, but I'm also pretty keen on deving if I can. We're going to need to get our money sorted out here. I do not know. Oh, this is a, my, my bohemian stack or, uh, Bavarian snack that I inherited. We'll stay focusing on um, trade. That's fine. Yeah, I'll take the legit or the mercantilism is fine. Oh wow! So this episode has been a bit long. That's okay with me. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you share your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. Looks like we're gonna have to um, get these guys over there. Come over here and blockade them in so they, well, if they win, they'll be able to head back over to Skona or however that is pronounced. But uh, yes, if you guys are enjoying, like I said, show your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. If you have not already subscribed, it's the best way to keep up to date with our channels. Take your shot for Prague, of course. And uh, if you want to support us on Patreon or uh, get some merch, all going to be linked in the description. Well, as the Discord, my Twitter, all that stuff. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Huge
special thanks to my top supporters for the month of June, Drunk Binary, Mr. McFlew, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jacob Chinsky, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Zara, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Draco R. Havis, Corbett, Shake Potamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Mark and Glad, Harry, Hey Murado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, R.J. Pilot, and many more. You guys are awesome. Consider supporting if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.